Hi, my name is Robin and I'm one of the talking heads behind NZ Pocket Guide, New Zealand's largest travel guide. Over the past 10 years in New Zealand, I've done well over 600 activities, so many so that I stopped counting. In fact, you can see my partner Laura and I doing over 400 activities on this channel alone. But now it's time to sort through them all and rank my top 101 best activities in New Zealand. Today we're covering number 20 to 11. There will be some free ones, there will be some paid ones and there will be some that you suggested. So get busy in the comments telling me your favorites and let's get started. <laughs> At number 20 we have the luge. You probably have heard of the luge. It's quite iconic in New Zealand and you can do it in Queenstown and in Rotorua. My favorite has to be Rotorua just because the course is a little bit more fun and a little bit more tricky. At number 19 we have Hot Water Beach. It's a beach where you can dig your own jacuzzi. That's right, if you dig in the sand you're gonna get some really hot water coming out and then with the cold waves coming in then you're gonna have the perfect temperature jacuzzi that you digged yourself. It's quite fun. At number 18, we have the Transalpine train journey. It's always ranked as one of the most beautiful train journey in the world and for good reason. It is absolutely stunning. You can catch it from Greymouth or from Christchurch or even from Christchurch and return to Christchurch. At number 17, we have one of my favorite diving spots in New Zealand, it's Paul Night Island. Especially if you get to go to Blue Mau Mau Arches, which is absolutely stunning. You can go in the intro dive or if you're already experienced, you can dive on yourself. At number 16, we have another icon, and yes, we are in the top 20, so there is a lot of obvious icons right here, but it's kayaking in Abel Tasman National Park. It is an absolute stunner. The beaches are golden, the forests are lush, and the waters are crystalline. Do it. At number 15, we have a crowd pleaser. No matter where you decide to go, this footage right here is going to be Cape Falwin. There is a lot of seal colonies around New Zealand and the seals are quite active or quite lazy, but no matter what, it's a good spectacle. I love seals. At number 14, we have another icon of traveling in New Zealand. That's right, that's the Tongaro Alpine Crossing. Everybody wants to do it, and for good reasons. First, it is one of the Lord of the Rings filming locations. Second, it only takes a day to do. And third, it looks amazing. Seriously, look at it. It looks awesome. Number 13, taking a cruise in Milford Sound. If you make a journey to the South Island, there is pretty much no way you are living without checking out Milford Sound. Well, taking a cruise there, it's only taking you about two to three hours and you'll get to see most of the sound without having to spend too much time there, so you can drive back to Queenstown on the same day. At number 12, we have what has been dubbed the most visited natural attraction in New Zealand, and that's Hooker Falls. It is where New Zealand's largest lake, Lake Topo, empties, and it looks like they didn't open the tap big enough because the water is gushing. At number 11, we have seen the geysers, the bubbling mud, and all the other geothermal wonders of New Zealand in the town of Rotorua. 
There are so many different parks like Oraki Koraku, Waiman View Volcanic Valley and Tepuya that you can visit to check out the geothermal activities of the area. Pick one of them and enjoy! Alright, that's it for me today. Do you guys agree with my picks? There is a link right above my head to the full list with more info on each of the activities if you want to know more. Just a quick reminder that everybody is a winner here, with all the activities that was lucky enough to do around New Zealand making it to the top 101 is already quite amazing, no matter the placement. Remember to hit me up in the comments below with your favorite things to do in New Zealand so I can mention you in an upcoming video where I'll be covering all your guys' suggestions. Hit like and subscribe to get notified when that video comes out and have fun exploring New Zealand!